In this video, we'll be finding the average value of a function. Our problem is to find the average value of f of x equals 4 times the quantity x squared plus 1, all divided by x squared, on the closed interval from 1 to 3. Then we're asked to find all values of x in that interval for which the function equals the average value. Now the mean value theorem states that the integral on this interval from 1 to 3 of our function, and I'm going to go ahead and distribute my 4 through the quantity. So it's 4x squared plus 4 divided by x squared dx is equal to f of c times the difference 3 minus 1. My average value then is this f of c factor right here. So we need to integrate on the left side. Um, I'm going to uh, simplify this a little bit. Write this as uh, 4x squared over x squared, which is just 4 plus, and then 4 over x squared, I can write as 4x to the negative 2. So that's my expression that I need to integrate. And let me just copy here on the right side, that's f of c times 2. Now when we integrate here, we get 4x and then increase our exponent by 1 and divide by the new exponent. So that'll give me 4x to the negative 1 divided by negative 1, evaluated from 1 to 3. And let me just copy this. First going to sub in the 3, so I have 4 times 3. And this uh, negative 1 in the denominator makes that minus here. And then uh, 4 times 3 to the negative 1. And then subtract from that um, the expression with 1 substituted in. So 4 times 1. And then that's minus 4 times 1 to the negative 1. Copy the right side. This is 12. Subtract 4 thirds. Subtract 4 minus 4. Copy the right side. So we have 0 here, 12 minus 4 thirds is 32 thirds is equal to f of c times 2. Divide both sides by 2 or multiply by 1 half. And this will cancel here and I get f of c is equal to 16 thirds. So my average value is 16 thirds. Then I'm asked to find all values of x in the interval from 1 to 3 for which the function equals the average value. So my function is given up here. Let me copy that. 4 times the quantity x squared plus 1 over x squared. And that's equal to 16 thirds. And multiply both sides by x squared and 3. So the x squareds cancel on the left side and the 3s cancel on the right side. So I have 12 times x squared plus 1 equals 16x squared. This is 12x squared 
plus 12 equal to 16x squared. 12 is equal to 4x squared. Divide both sides by 4, so we get x squared is equal to 3, which means that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. Now I want the values of x that are in the interval from 1 to 3, so the negative is out of there. And so my answer to the second part of that question is just x is equal to a positive square root of 3.